Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. Let's do some programming today for DMR for the Anytone D578 and realize what I'm going to show you here applies to the 578, it applies to the 878, it applies to the 868, it applies to several Alinko models, the 500, the 5, and the 5X. It applies to the BTEC 6X2. So be sure when you get the programmer, you get the one that matches your model. But let's do DMR. And what's amazing about this is once you do wrap your head around it, it's really easy. I promise. We're going to work today in the programmer for the D578. We're going to start with radio ID. You put in your radio ID as issued by radioid.net. Get that filled in. Let's save the file. And I know you want to put in memories, but that's not where we're going next. Next, we're going to go to talk groups. These you get from the DMR Mark site or from Brandmeister. If you're using a hotspot type uh, device, you'll go to Brandmeister. The DMR marks, I am told, generally don't work on the hotspots. Let's just take that first example there of the PyStar list of the Brandmeister talk groups. First of all, you see you've got 1,633 available talk groups, and these are all group calls. These are not the private calls. There are a lot of people to talk to. If you spread out too far, you won't find anybody. So pick carefully in areas where you will find folks that you have something in common with and that you want to talk to. It can be really interesting listening to people in other areas and getting to make new friends. This is your number, not the TG, the number that you need to get all of this to work. There are a lot of people to talk to. And another really neat trick, and I've seen a lot of CSV files cropping up out there, is file import. And I have this talk group CSV. Friend of mine sent it to me. And I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to go next, 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 and finish. And now I have this list ready to be used that was out of one of the RT Systems programmers and into one of the RT Systems programmers. And the process is just that easy. And I'm going to take this one out. I just don't need it in this list. But this is just a list. And these are my group calls. Now I'm ready for memory channels. Edit digital mode. All it did was collapse the screen a little bit. So you're not having to skip over fields that don't apply to what you're doing. If you want repeaters in your area, file, external data, repeater list. Georgia, let's do LaGrange, and search. And there are three repeaters in this area. I'm going to start on channel three, and I'm going to apply. So let's say I try these, and I find out that the 147.33 is my best repeater. And I'm going to copy that 
and I'm going to paste it and I'm going to paste it again and I'm going to paste it again. And you think, what in the world is she doing? And I'm going to paste it again and I'm going to paste it again. Because I want this one on my Cape Fear talk group. And I'm going to name it Cape Fear. So I know which talk group it's associated with. And I want this one on this Arkansas group. And I want this one on this Alabama group. And I want this one to stay in Alaska. And I want this one on worldwide. Now those are ready to be used. This is all that I have to do to set up memory channels for the sake of memory channels. But without zones, the radio doesn't know the memory channels exist. And I'm on my zone page. There's zone one, which is a default zone to keep its brain happy in case you send to it without doing this. And this is digital. Click on edit. And I want all of these 147s. I just clicked on one and clicked add and they moved over to the list where they're selected. And I always wanted to open on Alabama and on Cape Fear. It's for A and B, top and bottom of the radio. And I save this up. I can send that to the radio and be on the air. Just that quick and easy. So now you have seen the basics of what it takes to set up for DMR, radio ID, talk groups that it may take you a little research to find out the ones you want, then your memories and the memory for each talk group you want to use. Yeah, you could end up with quite a list here and zones so that the radio knows that the channels exist. There's a lot more to be set up to get really good use out of this radio, but this will get you started. And we'll hear you on the air. Have fun, enjoy your radio. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.